Hello and welcome. My name is John Chorley and it's my pleasure to bring you this overview of the new and enhanced capabilities in Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud 19A. First, introducing Oracle Service Logistics Cloud, which connects your customer service, say an engagement cloud, and field service activities, say an Oracle Field Service or TOA, with your supply chain, allowing you to easily order parts from within a service request, ensure the right part is delivered to the right place at the right time, and manage your service technician's trunk stock so that your customer's issues are resolved quickly and effectively. In 19B, we plan to add service debrief and charges. Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud 19A introduces the first of a set of features designed to support project-driven supply chains. These features allow you to capture project attributes on sales orders and fulfill these sales orders from a common or pooled inventory, then ship those sales orders and charge the costs to the project according to the project attributes, such as project number, task number, and expenditure organization. In order management, we are adding support for sales agreements. Order management can automatically apply contractual pricing on an order, which reduces order processing time and errors that typically occur using manual entry methods. In manufacturing, we've enhanced OTBI to support traceability reports for genealogy objects. We've also added more REST service capabilities for the work definition. We now support manually procuring materials for a work order, often useful in prototyping or engineer to order environments. In maintenance, you can now manually procure material to maintenance work orders and deliver directly to the shop floor. This includes unplanned, stocked, non-stocked, and description-based items. You can also now easily copy an existing work order. In costing, enhancements include excluding inactive work definitions in cost roll-up, project-related changes, costing goods received directly to a manufacturing or maintenance work order, improved OTBI reporting, and enhanced REST services. Inventory has focused on additional integration capabilities, reporting enhancements, and additional support for project-driven supply chains, adding capabilities to work with third-party label printing, barcode scanning, or custom inventory execution systems. Cubing is a WMS process that maximizes the volume and weight packed in a container, and this release introduces three enhancements. Ability to group like material, ability to determine the unit of measure of the license plate number, and now WMS will always honor the case pack quantity of the inventory while determining the outbound LPN type. WMS now allows customers to be able to replenish beyond the configured location's maximum and provides an ability to replenish inventory going through multiple hops into corresponding destination locations. In quality management, you may now add a specific child organization item as an affected object on a quality issue in action, and you can create issues or actions from an item directly in product development. Product development now manages stacked change orders and checks the correctness of your base or old revision during change order status update, and provides a resolve revision conflicts feature to resolve any issues. CAD for Cloud now allows you to include design processes and data in Cloud PLM while keeping CAD data on-premise for security and better performance. Also, it uses CAD integrations with Oracle Design Vault to leverage the design user experience. Furthermore, it provides seamless structure and attachment publishing from an on-premise Oracle Design Vault to Cloud PLM. Previously, the Root Item class was private secured by default. With this update, you are able to set this as public, greatly simplifying this process. For new installs, item classes are now public by default, which allows admin to set up security as exception versus rule across all item classes. Furthermore, items can be secured at the item class or item level. Several enhancements have been made to item publication, such as publishing by date range, an all records option, the ability to generate XSD, and the support for partial publication upon failure. 
Finally, Supply Chain Collaboration Cloud 19A supports new vendor-managed inventory features, allowing you to securely share your on-hand quantities with selected suppliers and then guide them through the process of triggering the right replenishment order quantities to keep you in stock, ensuring that you can take advantage of the cost advantages of VMI while also ensuring clear communication, accuracy and efficiency. For more information on Oracle Supply Chain Management Cloud, please visit cloud.oracle.com and these other resources. My name is John Chorley and thank you for watching.